Before we get started, I just wanted to say a few things. Obviously, you can hear my voice is kind of gone. But I wanted to point out, we started with 1,500 entrants. Now we're down to eight. Eight different characters represented six different countries. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Street Fighter. Latif's tournament life right here. And he just runs away. Options out of it, and now he's cornered himself. I do not like this from Latif. He had his chance. No! Oh! Crazy attempt. He went for the glory, and from Japan, Evolution 2011, 2011 champion, Fudo! Welcome everybody to Evolution 2012 Super Street Fighter 4 AE 2012 yeah. Grand Finals Top 8. I am joined by a very special guest. Let's go. Good to see you again, Mr. Chen. How's it going, Seth? Uh, it's been amazing. It's been an emotional time. But here we are on the 25th anniversary of Street Fighter with an incredible Top 8. I can't believe this field. I can't believe the energy in this room. It's up to the Street Fighters now to see if they can carry it on from Marvel type tradition of hype. Uh, but I think the first match might be ready to line it up for us. You know, normally most people are, would consider it an honor to do a commentary for the last game of the day, but after that Marvel, my voice is done. I was <laughs> screaming so loud, but we have one last game here, eight different characters, six different countries. Some legends, uh, up-and-comers, some uh, people out of nowhere. It's a full range, and who would have thought the secret victor or the secret story of this final eight would be the field? And just what an incredible spread we've seen. Yep, and right away we're starting with a player from China who, I mean, literally he had to have a visa signed specifically for this event. Eli Xiaohai going up against top eight finisher last year from Korea, Punko. Punko, a uh, villain and turned hero last year. <laughs> oh, caught with a frame drop there. A lot and he's of got him in the corner. A lot of people actually say this is a bad matchup for Seth, that Kami has an advantage in this. One of the few that can accurately pressure him. Nice back dash. Right, let's see how well Punko can. Oh! He no punish. Yep. Let's see how well Punko can keep him out. Because, like you said, Cam is just going to try to get in there and stay in there with frame traps. Get the big damage combos. Wow. This from Punko. And both players playing very conservatively so far, really feeling each other out. And there's the back throw. Cam is so oh, effective on that. Nice. You get, you get more damage on that second hit than if you hit early on. This is not the Pumko we've seen before. Yeah, you know, he might actually be scared of Cammy. This might be a matchup that he does not like to fight against. Uh, I'd say it's beyond respect at this point and possibly the zone of fear. Oh, and there's that jump roundhouse from Cammy. We talk about Such that move so much. Oh, he's in there. Oh. Oh, and then an uppercut from Xiaohai. The only thing Pumko could have done might have been the teleport away. I think teleport, yes, which obviously. Pumko, this is not the Pumko we've seen so far. Today. Yeah, he's, he's, Maybe he needs to take a good swig of Red Bull right now. Yeah. <laughs> and he's sitting on full bar, so he has a lot of FADC opportunities. Still got the reactions for that uppercut. Very deep. Nice stuff. Uh, oh, nice. I often say a, a measure of Cammy's success is how many EX dive kicks she can land. There and go. there's one of them. OK, here we, here go. we go. Oh, what? where's the is stops? That, is that a reset? That just seems like a reset I'm to me. Sure. Punko, just playing very conservatively in that first round, I thought was the story of that game, where Cammy never really got in and blew him up too much. 
it was just there, sort of dogging him the whole way. Kunko played very conservatively. Tammy closed it out. Zhao Hai, game one. Yeah, this is loser's bracket as well. So whoever loses this will be eliminated. We've already seen at the end of rounds that Zhao Hai very uh, susceptible to throwing out uppercuts. Kunko might not have actually picked up on that watching him early from yesterday. Or Puko, the two great. Days ago. I would say Puko's one of his major strengths is making many, many situational reads. Nice completion there. Yeah, he's always said that he plays gamble set. Yes. And he is not playing gambling at all. And he's get, he's just getting beat. Ooh. I mean, he's not even making moves here and is now down to potentially. Punko, look at him, shaking his head. He knows, he probably knows himself he's not playing like himself this either. Is, this is not the Punko we bargained for. This has been a year where we've seen repeat champions go down quite often. All right, here, let's see if he can get something going here. And players who have finished high last year we go. not doing as well. But here we go, Punko getting the dizzy just like he did on Daigo last year. And he wow. gets the perfect. And he looks nonplussed about that perfect. <laughs> he knows he's got a long way to go here. That might be the round that he needs to just jolt him back into, into the swing of things. Let's see, he's not looking very energetic yet. Maybe he's up against that shirt wall technology. Oh, great bait from Xiaohai! And he gets high damage punished. Look at that. Kunko already oh, down. Wow. Over half life. Okay, here we go. And the mix up, but the uppercut. He can't get behind that. Oh, oh, wow. That should be it. Xiao Hai has eliminated Kunko. And just like that, Kunko is gone. Give it up for Kunko, y'all. I, I am I'm a little stunned by that one just because, again, that was. No, I don't think that's what Punko came all this way to do. No, he I don't He can't be think happy so. with that performance. He's so. shaking his head, uh, the crowd a little on their heels. Pretty from that stunned one. right now. Like you said, last year he turned himself into a hero with his play. He was a monster. He was all over it. And I think, honestly, like, as you said, Punko is a gambler. Uh, the crowd showing respect. Uh, yeah. Even some of the biggest trolls in there saluting Punko. Actually, I think they might be cheering Dominion, who's stepping up to the plate. I like that much better. <laughs> Dominion, uh, I gotta say, this guy has never been playing better Street Fighter than we've seen him play in this tournament so far. Yeah, I've long said now that I believe Dominion might be the best player in the, in the U.S. And he's proven it this year here at EVO. In the finals, uh, you know, running up to this, uh, I saw a back Sobot kick anti-air, and I was just like, this guy is firing on not just all cylinders. He's got extra cylinders. He's brought them <laughs> in. He's doing things. It's just every button was perfect. He was so calm and controlled when he get pressured, put into that corner by Fudo, and he just maintained his composure the whole way through, just throwing the sonic booms at the perfect time, never showing fear, never cracking. I like his attitude here today. But one of the challenges of this tournament from the Friday to now has been can you maintain that momentum? And that's really, to me, the question of Dominion's tournament here. Right, especially since he did play in Marvel yesterday as well. So he kind of had a, quote, distraction. So, I don't know, hopefully he'll be able to keep this up. As you said, he defeated last year's champion, Fudo. He did, and uh, with a really just incredibly measured play, I really loved the whole way he played through. I was impressed uh, at just his consistent composure. So let's see if he was able to get a little rest after his Marvel performance yesterday and maintain that in to the finals here today. Because, I mean, the way he's playing now, he looks capable of beating absolutely anybody in the world. And of course, he is gonna have to beat, you know, anybody in the world. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this just Gamer a, a B. few anybody's. Gamer yeah. B from Taiwan. Obviously, he made the big splash in 2010 when he eliminated Justin Wong, and he's been a super strong player ever since. No, he, yeah, it was, it, people thought maybe he was a one-hit wonder. No, he came out so strong right after that 2010 performance, blowing people up all over the world, and has right. stayed consistently That's strong. Nice. Obviously, oh, Adon, yeah. very strong character. Or in 2012. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's even become his own national hero in Taiwan, greeted with and flowers. That that story is one of the most moving stories I saw. Just it's seeing his friends and family himself. and the TV crews there to greet him at the airport turned him into just a national treasure in Taiwan. Two heroes, unfortunately, facing each other in the loser's bracket. One of them's going home. We see the American flags in the background. Dominion, I don't know what to say about that look. That's a sly look. He's got a sly look. Gamer B always with the eye of the tiger there. Such a great guy, though. He's always sunny. I've never seen him down except on himself. He's very positive towards all the other players. And can you believe, I mean, is this a well-known fact that the Dominion didn't even have a console of his own? Until just recently. Until we like were... a few months ago? I know, it's ridiculous. That's not okay. <laughs> I can't lose to a guy that doesn't own his own console. <laughs> I just happen to show up to this tournament once in a while. Yeah, let me just dominate everybody free.
This is going to be an interesting matchup. You know, yeah. Obviously, Daimini is going to do his best to keep out Gamer B. Oh. And look at this Gamer B with a strong start already. An early bad guess. Again, another bad guess from Daimini. Yeah, the ambiguous cross up so hard to block. Oh, and there it is. For the fuzzy guard. And then he misses his Whoa. forward jump. He misses a forward jump of all things. Not what you <laughs> can expect, but he's got a massive lead, so he's in great shape here. Yeah, and, and look at that. I mean, that's a sign of nerves right there from Gamer B, but great recovery. And Dominion, of course, is one of the only two, one of the players from one of the repeated represented countries here, obviously from the United States. A lot of people are going to want to see him do well here, along with PR Rog. Good challenge there, out of the air. But a little bit, I've seen him do this a little bit more than I like. He jumps out of the corner once in a while, and I think that's a dangerous play. I like the throw concept. But again, so easy to put on great pressure with eight on against Kyle. Dominion, he gets so much out of those scan fierces. Oh. oh! Blew him up. He took the gamble. He said, Dominion, go for that throw a little too often. I'm going to make my read, and he makes it pay big. Oh. And then a cross up. The true cross up. And this now he's trouble. just going to be able to finish it. Yeah. There's not much Guile can do in that situation. Very hard for Guile to deal with cross ups like that. Most of the time, the flash kick flash will kick not auto correct itself. Yeah. Dominion looking a little bit, uh, oh, I don't know about that tongue. Yeah. <laughs> that is not the tongue of strength. No. <laughs> showing, no. There's nowhere in the world of nature that showing your tongue <laughs> is a sign that you're about to go in. And Gamer B, look at him. I mean, he looks like an enemy wow. of Rocky here. Dude, he could have been, uh, yeah. That's his own murder and face now, right now there. And now he's smiling, oh, okay, too. All is. right. He Let's knows the crying. audience is chanting against him. You know, that is odd, because at for a foreign player, he's actually someone that people root for a lot here in the States. It's true. Both heroes here, and I love that crouching fierce anti-air. From Gamer B. Wow. Excellent challenge. Low piercing, a jaggle kick, and then air throwing. Here we go, Dominion. And we've seen already at the beginning of this match the criticality of his spacing. He must maintain that spacing to try and be able to punish. Oh, Jaguar great. kicks. And you know, we I often say characters who can change their air trajectory. So powerful. Oh! Jive kick, single most important technique in this game, but this is not a good look for Dominion. How many people actually use jump fierce? With Adon, he just went right through Guile's crouching fierce, once, ate it up. Once you expect that Jaguar kick out of the air, that's it. That's true. You gotta commit, you gotta commit with that crouching fierce, and it was a perfect counterplay. And now Gamer B already at match point. This again is also loser's bracket, so loser of this will be eliminated. Dominion, uh, I'd really love to see him go a little deeper, but obviously both great guys, both great competitors. Wow, aggressive with the air throw, double Ooh, air throw. And a Frame trap, the frame trap right there. Nice focus back dash to escape the cross up. And this is the distance he must maintain, but it's so hard. This is the distance where Guile can be strong. There it is! Oh, what a reaction! That is exactly the distance he must maintain. Let's see if he can keep it going. He's a little bit in too close, yes. He doesn't want to corner himself here completely. He doesn't want to give ground. He's facing he just, each other yeah, now. He's looking for that opportunity to get through. And what an epic wow. you see. That almost looked like a combo. Oh, he's closing again. He's close. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, he jumped away. That oh, was no. real. Wow. Whoa, Gamer, he got away with one there. He did not hit a button in the air. Gamer B did not touch a button in the air. I don't know what happened. Maybe he was scared of something. another FADC after the Sonic Maybe he was going boom. for empty jump. I don't know. But either way, Dominion gets away with one there. And there you see how, how fortunate it is for Guy that he recovers so fast from Sonic Boom. Not punished easily by EX Jaguar Kick. Gamer B burned all of his meter on those two attempts in there. Let's see if you can get the cross-up magic going. Oh, oh from the front. Oh, yep. So dirty. And what side now? Okay, from the front again. Wow, I, I thought that was a cross-up for sure. <laughs> I oh, guess that's no. why we're back here instead of <laughs> yeah. up on the stage. Oh, oh good read. The FADC. Wow, he's going in. Good block. Oh, no, but here we go. But not enough meter for FADC into Ultra. But there's that ambiguous cross-up. He goes for the throw. This now what side? life. Good block. Oh, oh. double. Oh, oh no! Another throw! That was a clean throw opportunity for Dominion, and he was just caught back on his heels. And Dominion has been eliminated. After an incredible run at the tournament, I'm really sad to see this guy go home. He's got a ton of heart. I think, uh, obviously, an extremely bright future. 
but what we saw from here, we saw from here today was not quite up to the level that we saw to get this far. It's so hard too, because after he qualified, you know he's been thinking about it all day. To come here and play one game and be eliminated like that has to be very heartbreaking. Uh, and he, I mean, frankly, he just he looked a little bit in a daze the whole time. He had some, he showed some guts. He made some good, good, good plays. I really liked some of the things we saw from him, but it was not enough at the right time. And again, when he maintained that distance, I felt he was really holding the match together. Yes. Yeah. Those are his strengths. You get those fierces. You get the sonic boom. You get the punishes on all the Jaguar kicks. You even get the without sonic hurricane. The sonic hurricane, time. perfect, yeah. But I mean, with not able to maintain that distance. And that's what I thought was so brilliant about his play on Friday, is he was so smart with pulling back to the right distance, which is something we're also going to see from a certain other competitor, which is Dago Umahara, <laughs> who holds his distance like nobody else. Yep. But of course, we are going to have the other side of the winner's bracket coming up. This is going to be C Vapor PR Balrog going up against Human Bomb. Now, We've been saying Human Bomb is from Hong Kong and such, but really, honestly, he's been, everything that he's done, he's crafted all of his skill in Australia. He's a world warrior. He gets around. So yes, I think the Australian, obviously, a ton of strong Australian players. I was lucky enough to go down there uh, for my first oh, time wow. earlier this year. Had an amazing time, met their community. Fantastic people. Uh, obviously, right. Human Bomb uh, can do them proud Next here today game. as yep. well as Hong Kong. Hong Kong. He's definitely one of the surprise Human finalists Bomb. here, probably the surprise. Every year, there's always one player that you're exactly. not expecting, and, and Human Bomb is definitely that one this year. And that is the Evo magic. You just got to earn it. You just got to come out here. I don't care what your rep is. I don't care how many followers you have on Twitter. You got to earn it in the streets here at Evo, and this guy has done it. Very exciting play so and not, far. And not only that, but he's made it in winner's bracket as well, so he has Two chances still remaining, and if you can win this match, he will be guaranteed top three. Of course, his opponent is PR Balrog, no slouch either. He first made his splash in 2009 when he made top eight. He was the newcomer from nowhere. He was, and uh, here we see him again in great opening stop here from PR Balrog. I love it. A perfect counter hit sweep to the two dirty throws. Nice block there. I will say I fear this match as a Balrog against Sakura. I'm very afraid of her up close pressure and those frame traps. Yes, oh, a drop. That's so powerful, Sakura. She can use that light hurricane as a frame trap. Goes over low shorts and leads into huge combos. Wow. Nice course correction there. Oh, and an auto correct from PR Balrog with the armor to beat that cross up. Oh, and oh he got he's in there. And that and should do it. Yes. Just barely. I did see Human Bomb throw out a low forward, which he did not hit confirm mm -hmm. yeah. into the uppercut, which made me a little bit nervous because I feel like he's very, very solid on that. And that's a staple for Sakura's poking. He might have been too close. Maybe he was afraid that PR Rock was going to be close enough to block it. We'll see. There oh, go. good challenge. Yeah. Love that. Okay, in the corner. So this is where Sakura can really get some damage in. Oh, wow. Using a turnaround punch to go through the jump attack. Very interesting stuff. Okay, armor, and he goes into the EX upper, which gives him that combo. And he was looking for a quick rise there to go for some left-right shenanigans. Human Bomb not using the quick rise. Wisely, Smart yes, stop. yeah. Oh, okay, just going into a fireball. I think he decided that before he began the combo. Yeah, Rog might have to start thinking about using cross jabs instead of oh, crouching wow. shorts. Ooh, Good trade. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Oh. Wow, Good we pressure. seen some odd stuff in PR Rog. Wow. Nice blocking, but that gives Sakura that opportunity. Oh. Great this should be there. closer out. Yes. Yeah. No options there. Yeah, smart stuff for PR Rog. Uh, I mean, for Human Bomb, not to option select it with EX uppercut or something. To exactly. Waste meter. I don't know if I like the meter burn for PR Balrog, but meter not super important for Balrog in this fight. Okay, good anti air for PR Rog. Both of them with great low fierce anti air. Great read. Balrog. Measured approach now, closing in. Ironically, both of these characters like to be at about the same distance. Yep, they both, I mean, it all depends on who has the frame advantage at the time. Oh, oh wow. here we go, big combo oh, for I'm Human aware. Bomb. He's gonna miss the last one on purpose. And the corner carry. Oh, wow, he goes for the cross up. Yeah, and he puts himself in the corner. I don't really like that. Smart for PR Rod, but just block there. Is he gonna ultra? He's yes. going for it. He probably wants to just get him in the corner and get the pressure off. Not a ton of damage, but it's huge for position. Oh, wow, it completes oh, for the dead ball. Yes. Okay, but he gets the combo anyway, but not enough to FADC to extend Whoa, it. Whoa, very and tricky stuff. Human bomb shenanigans. Oh, a oh, frame trap! trap. Oh, for Balrog again with a new ultra. What is going on? You know what? I'm going to say this right now. That was so smart from PR Rock. He knew. 
that human bomb had to hit that link. He had to hit that link, and so you know what? You He's might as well go. Up. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. You might as well go for it. If he misses it, you win. And that was the hardest part to do it, and it got that second ultra because of all the focused fireballs that Human Bomb was throwing out at the beginning, which is not a great strategy. Otherwise, you would not have had to contend with that second ultra combo and the game winner. Oh. Game one. PR Balrog. Oh. Huge blow to see uh, the Human Bomb right there. I like this jab pressure as well. This ain't Street Fighter Cross Tekken, though. That's not going to get you all the way through. Yep. And we have talked about the fact that uh, Human Bomb is new to this kind of stage. So, you know, that might have just been nerves at that last round. Piero Balrog with a little drop there. Again, also quite unusual for him. So consistent with some of the tricky links. Wow. Burning three bars of meter there. Yeah. Oh, that was wow. Another random head. Oh, he got it again. He read it again. Perfect read. Yep. Piero Balrog, so smart. Look at him. He's got a little bit of a smile like, yep. <laughs> He says, if you don't hit your links, you're Get going ready. down, you're going down. Now let's see if Human Bomb can try and set something up off that. That would be double dirty. Yeah, but you know what? How much you want to bet next time he does an EX Hurricane, Frog is just going to walk up and throw him or something? <laughs> that would be the ultimate read. Oh, Human Bomb now fighting for his tournament life. PR Balrog looking very comfortable. Human Bomb was a little lost. That is not going to do it. But the worst part about this whole thing is now Human Bomb is not going to be very confident in his combos at all. Exactly. And for Sakura, you can't even think about that. Yep. You can't question your combos. Yep. You're not going to hit. That. Ooh. Dirty cross under. If you're not going to hit one frame with links with Sakura, you should not be playing Sakura at all. And PR Balrog owning this, just looking like a wall. Ooh. Whoa. Mix ups. Oh. I'm sure he was hoping that was a dizzy. All nice. right. I like that attitude. Oh, oh no. Okay. Straight back dash. What does Human Bomb have? He needs to build up another meter so he can get EX uppercut into FADC. That will probably be his best chance to lead into something. There it is. Three bars. So this Now he's making his approach. This is Luke flying down the tunnel, aiming at the Death Star. <laughs> he's got to use the force here to make this happen. Whoa, You're he's in clear, there. kid. Let's blow this thing and go home. Oh, oh again, oh. a link drop. Oh, but, oh, here we go. He Can still has he a chance. Here are Oh, there it is. So smart, so smart. EX just to escape that pressure, and he knows, yeah, he could feel the heat coming, and obviously <laughs> any of these competitors capable of just completely blowing you up if you show the slightest human weakness. I love the approach there from Human Bomb, great stuff. Shout outs to Australia, shout outs to Hong Kong. And of course, shout outs to uh, Puerto Rico as well. Puerto Rico, uh, La Isla de Encanto, uh, <laughs> as memorialized by Black Francis of the Pixies in a song of the same name during a, his own experiences in uh, Puerto Rico were so memorable to him that he, uh, he made a great song. Yeah, I mean, I will have to say, when I traveled to CEO earlier this year, they had a giant army of Puerto Ricans coming up from Puerto Rico to play in that, and these guys are super talented. These are some of the most talented people I've ever seen. And, you know, with this tournament, you can see that this is becoming truly an international game. It's, it's been an amazing field. And, uh, I mean, Puerto Rico, so there's an, an army of incredible Puerto Rican right. players. I think there are similar armies just waiting oh, yeah. to come out. And this obviously we've seen China. China's got a billion people. Uh, turns out a bunch of them are amazing Street Fighter <laughs> players. And they are here today. I mean, some people have been saying that after someone wins Super Street Fighter 4, we should play their national anthem, you know? <laughs> we should have the flags like at the Olympics. I don't know, man. Some of those national anthems are pretty duds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to blow anybody up for having a weak national anthem. I mean, I get I get a little weepy when I hear yeah. ours, too. But not, uh, not all of them can be based off of British drinking songs, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Well, up next, of course, the legend, Umahara Daigo, up against Infiltration from Korea. Here we uh, go. Next match. The question here for me is Infiltration going to go with Akuma or will he go with Goken? I would have think he's going with Goken, but it looks like he's picked Akuma. But you know what? The Koreans opponent. have been so Fred powerful that Infiltration it's Lap already done. taking this at cross Tekken. And then the biggest upset of the day with Mad KOF defeating Bala in KOF. That was an incredible finals. I was My heart was pounding through my chest. Uh, one note here about Daigo, I must say, you might know that he's uh, not wearing his headphones. Um, yeah. This is something I discussed with him earlier when I noticed a little smile there from the beast. He said he only wears the headphones uh, at events where he's so close that the crowd yelling is like a physical oh. impact. He says well, there's enough distance here at Evo uh, that he can carry on without the headphones. And he gets that question all the time, so I thought I'd answer that for people on the stream. Wow. Infiltration with a quick start. Wow. Usually people save those overheads for the end of the round. Infiltration using it right at the beginning. Wow. Again, focusing right through the fireball. The beast loves his fireballs. 
Infiltration already Flame claiming trap. in interviews that he's got this. He says he's, he's pretty confident he's going to win this, and he's doing a great job with the start against Daigo Umara. This is incredible. This, you can't even tell this is Daigo playing because he's done nothing but blocking and hit so far. Oh, he tried an option selector, went the incorrect direction. But, you know, Daigo, wow. this is a typical Daigo thing. He can lose rounds and matches early on, but then once he downloads you, he will destroy you. We've seen that a little bit in the finals leading up to this with uh, Gamer B uh, yeah. and Daigo really doing some incredible Daigo moments. But that round was 110% infiltration. So interestingly enough, infiltration switching it up, going to a little bit more of a defensive game. Probably trying to throw Daigo's rhythm off. Daigo does that a lot himself. Goes from offense to defense between rounds. A little taste of your own medicine, Daigo. Here's got. Oh, what a read! Oh, wow, a huge damage. Full punish. Now Daigo has to be careful of a dizzy. Wow, he tried to challenge it. I like the idea. Should have been an EX uppercut. Would have made it through. Wow, he says you got uppercuts. I got uppercuts too. Let's play. Wow, so good. Infiltration with the most amazing reads this whole game. He's playing out of his mind. That was, I, what is that, uh, like 85, 90% correct reads from Infiltration there the whole way through. He's smiling a little bit too. And Daigo actually looks like he's just like, okay, okay. I'm, I see that, I see that. Oh, again, that's the second time he started the round that way. He is shutting down Daigo's fireballs and that is Ryu's number one weapon. If Daigo can't take advantage of the fireballs, then Ryu is very severely limited. He's like his hands are tied behind his back. And just look at the movement here from Infiltration, and he got it! That is good! Unbelievable! The Beast, uh, not looking too beastly so far. Let's see if he can get something going here. He is sitting on a lot of meter. One uppercut FADC is going to do a lot of damage against Akuma. Wow! wow. And again, Infiltration is so mobile. Yeah, using that foot speed from Akuma. Oh, oh, he caught him there. He said, you're a little bit out of range, but nice uppercut. He got the meter to burn. Oh, wow! No. Uppercut Bonanza and Infiltration now at match point against Umahara. Smart play there. Infiltration knew he was going to uppercut again into an FADC, so he just baited it, blocked it, made Daigo waste his meter, and uppercutted after the thir in the third sequence. And what's so scary here is we have not seen a single sequence from Daigo. He has not been able to get any momentum going at all whatsoever. Too far out of range. And now he's losing the fireball war on the ground to Akuma, which is not right. Yeah, he's really worried about that effort, that focus through the fireball. Wow, infiltration. He's just going in. I love this. Wow, <laughs> good read from Dago. And now with the corner pressure. Dago's, yes! Oh, oh. counter thrown! Simon throw coming. What? Counter uppercut. No, did he get him? He got him crouching. Super! And that is infiltration up with the fist pump. You and the Akuma to the back. <laughs> Taking a page from Japan's Takedo. You cannot jump away from the super once it's activated right next to you. If you're crouching, you are done. Yep, and he canceled it. You can cancel any normal move into the super or the ultra. So he did the overhead to get Daigo worried about it. Canceled that into the Raging Demon and caught him. Daigo Umahara sent to loser's bracket by infiltration from Korea. And we'll see this here. Just like that, again. Oh, wow. Fading that out. And who would have thought we'd seen the Beast get hit by two Raging Demons <laughs> in four rounds of just complete beatdown. Uh, we didn't see Daigo get a single series going this entire round. You see him, and again, just look at how mobile Infiltration is. Just happy to dance around and then taking advantage of that. Yeah, they're using that foot speed to his advantage. Akuma, one of the fastest walking characters in the game. It was the one good read there from Daigo. He caught him a little bit out of position, and there's this amazing series. Yep. Uppercut Bonanza. But I must say, uh, yeah, that is not the beast we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, this beast is in another <laughs> castle. <laughs> Well, I think we'll, fortunately we'll be seeing him a little more. So uh, obviously with the 25th anniversary, seeing one of the most legendary players of all time, a favorite for many people. Oh, yeah. uh, certainly it'd be exciting to see his next match. But you know what? I mean, we saw the same thing happen with Filipino champ, got sent to loser's bracket, worked all his way through. Came back with a vengeance and really had to earn it against him for so many times. So many nail biters in that one. I can't even think about that. If I start thinking about that, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm <laughs> And right now, so this means actually that Infiltration and PR Rog are guaranteed top three. Now it is a matter of getting through the loser's bracket for the last, uh, let me think, four players in the field. We've got Human Bomb, we've got Gamer B, we have, uh, of course, Uma, Daigo, who just, yeah, who just got knocked in the loser's bracket. And uh, the last player, 
Xiao Hai, of course. Yes. I wanted to let you pronounce that one. <laughs> As I pointed out, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I trust your. Uh, yeah. If you're gonna make me, if you're saying that, then I gotta pronounce it for real. Do I it right for the people right. in China. So the last play player, of course, is Xiao Hai. There we go. So, <laughs> which means, of course, little boy. Um, you know, young young man, yeah. basically. He uh, he got that nickname, obviously, because he was very young when he entered the Next scene in China. Back. Played Kill excellently Kill there, and everyone just Kill called him that. And you know what? He's probably going to keep it for Stuck the rest of his career, you know? Some people get saddled with some very odd nicknames Hope for their whole that, career. That but anti-wrinkle cream. Yeah, I know a little about that myself, but this is going <laughs> to be another interesting one. Sakura up against Adon. Uh, very interesting fight. I like Sakura's crashing fierce. Uh, We'll see if uh, he's able to take advantage of that. Yeah, but we saw in the Dominion match that, you know, the Crouch and Fierce of Guile, also a great Crouch Fierce, was unable to stop Gamer B because he kept changing his jump arc. He did, and then he, when he finally did, oh, wow, great pressure. Look at him, he looks so in control. Oh. All right, some momentum here. Oh, and no. And he just challenged it. He said, get out of here with that. Yeah. And now Human Bomb, two matches in a row, has had some serious problems. Okay, this is pretty much free. Yeah. This is, yeah, I think Human Bomb's on his heels a little bit from that earlier blow up. Yeah, he's had two matches in a row now where after the hurricane, after the shampoo cap, he just hasn't been able, he's been hit by uppercuts and EX headbutts. Uh, it's basically not, he's not being respected. Yeah. yeah. And so you know there's this, a lot of fear and doubt being built into his mind, which is going to be very tough to overcome. Donkey kick anti-air there from Adon, good stuff. And an empty jump throw, working on a perfect wow. here, and it's going to be a dizzy. Okay, he stepped away yeah. long enough. Oh, I'm looking at a perfect here, and again, I do not like oh. that. That was super. Oh! That was that was just so juicy. That was perfect. That's the textbook right there. Gamer, Gamer B is writing it. Gamer B just that was pure domination, and you know what? In two games, let's talk about Gamer B's player. He has looked super solid. He is ready, like I said. He's had no MVC to play yesterday. He has had no distractions. Stay totally focused on what we just saw there from Human Bomb with that super drop after a deep jump in. Uh, very not a good look. Yeah, nerves. I've always said execution errors are almost 99% a case of nerves. Nerves, and those nerves are what you create in your opponent's mind. That's the whole meta game. You want to create that kind of nervousness. Nice completion there. Oh wow! Just too far for that to connect. He did the, he did the short version. All right, here we go. Human Bomb got a little momentum going. And again, disrespect from Gamer B. Couldn't even FADC that. He said, I don't care. Even though it would have cost him the round. Nice throw. Just a little bit to chip. Oh, great low boarding. Yeah. Nice. He was good just going to low board an uppercut there for chip down. Adon's button's no good there. That. Oh, let's see if he can get a little bit of momentum here. He desperately needs that. That was a rocky opening of that round. Oh, wow. I stand around. Adon stand around. I was so good. It's like there's so many characters with amazing footsies, and then Adon comes and just blows them all up. You got a focus attack. I got a double hitting standing right up. Oh, Goes nice. Goes the hard knockdown. Yep. And again, corners himself. That was a question we'll read before. I think people think it's going to be a surprise to their opponent that they're going for the cross up into the corner. Ooh, wow. Another again. drop combo. Another disrespect. Gamer B was watching PR Balrog's match. That's He's exactly what I was thinking earlier. Yes. That's, he, he, Downloaded some extra information though. This is we got a Sakura player up here who's dropping in the links. Oh my god. I saw that roundhouse, I've always said it many, many times that eight on roundhouse might as well be a fireball. Might as well be a special move, you know. And again, eight on. Oh. Wow, oh, I love that throw. Read. He's got a chance here. The except for cut. No! Yes. Now I think Human Bomb really needed to be a little bit more respectful there because that was kind of an obvious play, what he was going for there. Yeah, I, I thought he, he was just going to do his own EX uppercut, Sakura EX uppercut with a lot of invincibility. I could have sworn it would have outlasted Adon. I think he was trying to see what he was going to do and go for a low forward into it or something like that to try and chip out. And I don't like these long distance EX hurricanes of Human Bomb. It's just sort of trying to create something rather than earning it. Oh, you see Gamer B twitch just a little bit to make him think he's going to throw. Get hit by that frame trap uppercut. Great standing roundhouse again. Gamer B wow. living off of that standing roundhouse, just zoning Human Bomb out. So they're just completely controlling the pace of this match. Too. We talked about it in the PR ROG match how Sakura wants to be close to you, and that standing roundhouse that is, is ruining it. it all. Human Bomb has been eliminated. Going home. Two straight matches. Gamer B playing very solid. But definitely shout outs to Australia. Indeed. An incredible community down there. Incredible. I was uh, blown away. Not just in uh, Sydney where I was, but the Melbourne guys came out in force. Uh, they were awesome guys. 
showed me a great time, and more than that, showed me the power of this community globally. Uh, and we're seeing that again here today in this top eight. Obviously, tying for fifth place is not a bad result, especially when we started with a field of 1,500 plus players. Just completely massive. So Umahara will have to get Dao Hai, get past Dao Hai. Yeah, I'm so excited yeah, no, to, to say good, it. Yeah, good, no, I'll, I'll take it. I'm, now I'm never going to say it again. Yeah, and you know, I, I think it was uh, Tony Cannon who said it earlier. During Friday, we played, I think he said it was like 44 hours or so, like more, almost two days of Street Fighter <laughs> just to get everyone down to this top eight. It's an amazing, it's a machine the way they do it in here. It looks like controlled yeah. chaos, but they run it like a military operation. It's an incredible event. They burn through so much. Uh, we'll see, there'll be some interesting dynamics here. Um, we were saying earlier, uh, Daigo in conversation mentioned he was actually most afraid of PR Balrog, but now he was hoping Human Bomb would take up PR Balrog and he would move ahead in the bracket, but now he finds himself in the loser's bracket, PR Balrog still in the winners. Right. And you know, Daigo considers Kami to be second or first best character in the game. Yes, very, very strong. Yeah, a lot of respect for Kami. He's had a lot of problems with her in the past. I know in past games, when he went to Europe, Ryan Hart, played very well against Daigo's Ryu with Kami. So Daigo may even have a slight mental block against this character. We'll see, I've, I, he's not one to have too many mental blocks, but you know, the Beast, uh, again, in discussion, what I, there, there's many things I admire about this guy, uh, but he's got a really pure heart when it comes to the competition in the game. Mm -hmm. And he was saying, you know, one of the reasons I like to play, I'm not afraid to, to tell people how much I practice. I'm not afraid to be a professional at this. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid, I'm, and the reason is because I, I don't look at it as just practicing or something like that. I look at it as a way of becoming more who I am. Nice. Like I express myself literally through the game. So the more I practice, the more I become my truest self. People shouldn't be ashamed. You shouldn't act like you don't play the game. We play these games. That's so beautiful. Uh, you gotta go in. Don't be don't be shy about who you are. We're street fighters. Own and it. You, and did you see that uh, cross counter Asia interview that Z did with him? The be most beautiful statement. You know, he asked him, All "What right, was the best thing? Go. Fame, Show money, off. country, or team?" Uh, and he yeah. said, "None of those things are important. It's all about bringing hype to the community." Hey, uh, uh, yeah. I love, Daigo, I love yeah, this guy. Daigo is amazing. But, but he, first, he's got to do some winning here uh, after that complete blow up by Infiltration. Yeah, and Shanghai says, I don't care how amazing Daigo is, I'm going to be more amazing and blow him up. And Daigo has to be very happy with that just empty jump from Kami. There he's at the, yes. Ooh, not quite a crumple. <laughs> oh, playing a mini game of chicken there with those focus attacks. Daigo looks like he's come alive here. And again, dancing outside of Kami's normal range. Oh, yes. great reaction with the uppercut. And that's the thing with Kami's. A lot of them get desperate and try to get that EX dive to get in. Oh, okay. ambiguous cross-up. Good tag. And Daigo looking like himself here. Staying completely out of range of those normals, except for the weakest ones. Trying to bait Kami into jumping in. You're saying you're not going to get any low forward hit confirms on me. See if Shao Hai can make any adjustments. Nice EX drill through the fireball. That's worth it. Oh, he should have been able to do another, another uppercut. uppercut. It looked like that was free. But he just didn't do it. Maybe he got a little worried that he was going to do it too late. Stand forward. I like that because Daigo wants to get that corner pressure, so he's not as willing to stay back. Nice frame trap. Now Ryu has such a huge advantage over Kami with the footsie game. Oh, he it looked like he was that. in good position. He might have tried something. Maybe a quick uppercut. Daigo trying to reset that position to that state. Holding that right distance. He went in and Kami caught him. Oh, cross up Daigo. Oh, and he drops it. He but saves it. himself. Oh, wow. wow. Crazy read from Daigo there, and smelling back dash. And then immediately landing with that low roundhouse, catching Xiao Hai off guard. Wow, just running right into the normals there. I, I, like, I like how Daigo threw that one fireball, and what he was hoping to do was now get Xiao Hai thinking about that EX drill so he could close the distance, but Xiao Hai smartly poking with those normal moves and keeping him out. Again, doesn't quite complete there. And the low strong. Great low forward drill from Xiao Hai, not a cross up that time. We'll see if Xiao Hai. Again, inviting him to do the EX drill, basically. Mm. Oh, tried the anti air roundhouse from himself, and yeah. instead beats the combo. Once again, that Kami jumping roundhouse, maybe one of the best jumping moves in the game. Such distance. Daigo did not like that corner position. Wow, what a read. And, and that's a big swing. Wow. Oh, getting big her to jump. waste meter. Wow, I oh, think he got her. Some selected. And now is he going to go closer? Yeah, he's going to go right next to her. He smells weakness. And this is Xiao Hai's specialty. When he gets that meter, he loves that low pierce. He just starts throwing it out there. Oh, wow. He's got him. Oh, he's got him. And the Beast is going down. Game one. Bam. Great reaction from Xiao Hai there. 
That's what makes that Ultra One one of the most dangerous Ultras in the game. So useful in so many situations. A lot of horizontal distance there. And a great read. Daigo overplaying his hand a little bit in that game one, the final round. I do like Xiao Hai using a lot of focus attacks. I think that's a key component to Kami fighting against Ryu. You have to represent it. Yeah. You have to say, I'm prepared to go through your fireball and come in and do some damage. And again, Daigo, this is looking like Ooh. round one of the first game. Xiao Hai was able to make some good comebacks. And Xiao Hai said, I don't need a meter to FADC. I'm just going to wake up uppercut. Oh, no. Daigo regaining that, getting out of the corner there quickly. Should be able to close this out. Nice. Nice counter poke. Wow. So smart. What he said, you like, the, you like your stand forwards? Guess what? what? <laughs> Not safe. Wow. I've never seen that. No. Oh, we got him. Good oh, bait. great combos there. Max damage. Good block. Oh, oh, almost caught again. Yeah, Daigo was very near dizzy there, but that nice low 40 X fireball saves him from that. Wow. It wasn't a true block string, and Daigo touched the button in between. Whoa, that looked like. Whoa. Oh, wow, great bait whoa. from Xiao Hai. Strange stuff. Daigo has managed to uppercut Kami out of those situations a lot. And I, I love that anti-air jab. He smelled that Daigo was going to go Tatsumaki the, Tatsumaki the other side, not as a cross-up, but just in a way to escape the corner. Not safe. Great punish. Match point for Xiao Hai. And this is Japan's last chance in this tournament. And this is the last chance. There it is again, same opener. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it gets Kami in. That's the biggest key. It's pressure. Keep that momentum. Daigo's got to be careful. I know Xiao Hai's probably thinking about that EX dive to punish those low forwards. Oh, he had that hit confirmed into a drill, didn't get it. And this is what I'm noticing. Xiao Hai completely controlling the pace of this match. Not something we see from Daigo yeah. very often. It's like I said, Ryu usually can keep Kami out with footsies, but Xiao Hai right now dominating that part of the battle. And Ryu opening up his other great footsie tool, which is, of course, the fireball. Wow, spins right through it. Wow, and no reaction from Daigo to uppercut that. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Oh, nice uppercut from Daigo again. Great reactions. And he's gone for that throw every time after that crazy uppercut. I don't like that. And he's been teched every single time. Look at this footsie game right now. The audience is getting restless. They want something to happen here. Wow, a nice counter sweep. And that's so risky because if she blocks it. Oh, what oh, a break down. He drops oh, it. So high could have ultra that. Oh, he got, he got her. He got her. He's got her with the EX dive kick. And Daigo Umahara has been eliminated. In fifth place, Xiao Hai moves on. China over Japan. The Beast's got to be disappointed with that. I know he's been training very hard. Uh, and a quick exit from the stage. He is, I think he's going to be hurt by that one, honestly. Yeah. He had been playing so well all year long. I felt like, you know, at Southeast Asia and even at a CEO, he was kind of sandbagging a little bit. I would say he didn't look like he was going all in. Right. Uh, and seemed too, too complacent with his losses. But uh, certainly a great competitor. Uh, one of the all-time greats, but to go out and he, he made that frame track work. Got the two crouching strongs and then just missed the little roundhouse, which for him is... Uh, Very unusual, and that would have gotten him, that, that would have won him that game. Yeah, that, that was a swing, a uh, major swing, so he's got to be disappointed with that. Wow. And now we have China versus Taiwan here. <laughs> I Great won't make, stuff. I won't make any political comments here. <laughs> Uh, but there's going to be some interest in this one, I oh, think. Yeah, there's going to be some definitely. message board chatter in the wake of <laughs> in the wake of this confrontation. It's going to be Gamer B versus Xiao Hai, Adon versus Cami. Adon again, another one of those characters. Like I said, his footsie range, especially on that Sand Roundhouse, so good at shutting characters out. But it's like I said, treat it like a fireball because if you jump over that jumping roundhouse, if you can make it over, you can really put the hurt on Adon. I'm anticipating a real slugfest here. Let's see if we can get him in. Mix it up. Yeah, there hasn't, True. There hasn't been a non-Japanese champion here at EVO in a very, very long time. We've had Fudo last year. We had Daigo the two years before. And now Daigo was the last hope for Japan. Japan will not be winning Street Fighter IV. That is, that is uh, yeah, I mean, it, We've heard Japan talk about they felt like the Americans have gotten stronger, they felt like the world competitors have gotten stronger, but clearly 
that is the story here. And you know, you got to imagine every all the other competitors, PROG, Infiltration, all of them breathing a sigh of relief. Oh, now. they're they're they they should be hoisting this guy on their shoulders for yeah. taking him out. Next but uh, it's true. On maybe on the 25th anniversary of Street Fighter, it is now finally the world's game, a game that came from Japan, has been carried by some of the strongest Japanese players. Uh, now the world's showing Japan, and they brought a deep field here. There were a ton of Japanese killers here at EVO oh, this year. Yeah, it wasn't even, usually you can count like 5, 10, 15, I don't know how many there were this year, and they were incredible players. Bonchan was here, Bonchan to me, one of the greatest players. Uh, like we said, Fudo was defeated as well, Tokido and, was here. And they Mago. all played well. Yeah. Eita got knocked out by uh, Dirty Cole. Maitani was here. Maitani, yeah, and I mean... Dude, dude, dude. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, this, uh, <laughs> the field went deep here for Japan. All right, Xiaohai gonna keep Trying to keep his momentum going. He's on a two-game win streak, but so is Gamer B. Oh, look, look at, at the stand jab pressure. But that neutral jumping roundhouse of Adon, so powerful. And I love that challenge on the cross-up. Says you're not going to get those for free. Oh, oh no. A drop combo. Wow. Xiao Hai, interestingly, dropping a few combos. I did like that Xiao Hai went for the uppercut there. Also the channel. Oh, he got him. Did he get him? Too far? Oh, wow. What that, great reactions. I love. I love that. Off of a back dash. But of course, wasn't going to do a lot of damage. He hadn't built up a lot of ultras. But just oh! as a note. Gamer B really wanted to uppercut FADC ultra that one. Hit the button just a fraction too he late. Knows, he knows. by that EX dive kick. I love the message of that ultra though saying, you can't just throw out your Jaguar kicks against me. You're going to have to think about this. All right, Gamer B using a meter to just get a bunch of damage. And I'm not sure what he was, that was a really poorly timed neutral jump. Might have been expecting something else. Good block and a good, good tech. tech. Yeah. Oh, Xiao Hai loves trying to catch back dashes with that EX dive, so he was trying there. But it's that guessing game. Do you go high to try and catch the back dash and stay in range, or do you just fire it off quickly? Oh, he's in there. Again, tried to uppercut the dive and just couldn't get it out in time. I'd like to see Gamer B play more of a ground based game. No more Jaguar kicks. Jaguar kicks have not been doing him well at all. You and see you see the adjustment he's made, exactly that. He knows that the Jaguar kick has been punished. And again, that message from Ultra One in that first round saying, you can't just throw those out of here. And you see Xiao Hai, he's dashing back a lot. He's trying to bait it again, just like he did that first round. And he's playing a great mix of occasional pressure from the pussies, really not trying to do Wow! Oh, what a great anti-air wow. that Stan Fierce. And pumping his fist saying, I saw that all the way. Yeah, and Super solid round. So smart. I mean, you can tell that Xiao Hai knows this match very well. Using Stan Ford as a poke as opposed to Stan Roundhouse. Stan Roundhouse very whip punishable by Adon. Stan Ford is a lot harder to hit. Nice, standing Ford. Look at that range on that. Air. Hitting high enough to catch that Jaguar kick out of the air. And have we, has Gamer B hit one cross up yet? Great reads. Oh, he had a possibility of completion there. Yeah, Xiao Hai tried his own uppercut on that. Didn't get it out fast enough. And now he says, you got to remember the uh, the old crouching roundhouse. I'm going to go for it once in a while to see you think about it. And, and you see Xiao Hai once again going to that crouch fierce. Like I said, one of his favorite tricks. See, there it is again. So good at hit confirming that into an ultra if he gets the counter hit. Ooh. Got the uppercuts. Oh! A little too high, perhaps. Just runs into that roundhouse again. Better stuff from Gamer B that round. A little less reliance on Jaguar kicks, yep. which have been seriously damaged. As Zhao Hai's strategy worked against him by saying, don't Jaguar kick, and he's like, all right, I won't Jaguar yeah. kick. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to you know, shut down an opponent's options too early, because if that's what's causing him to die, you kind of want to give him yeah. a little leeway with it. Enough and rope to hang yourself. Yeah, he might have shut it down a little too effectively. Oh, caught him essentially there. Essentially putting Gamer B into the better game plan. Wow. Xiao Hai threatening up close. Gamer B just wakes up throws. I don't like Gamer B jumping into the corner. Ooh. Looking for it again. Yep. But at this point, he has enough meter not to kill with a regular combo. He's got to be careful of that stand roundhouse. He keeps Game walking in range and getting hit by that. And Gamer B's been so on point with his uppercuts. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that Jaguar kick at all. Exactly, and now that's why they're working. Yeah, Xiao Hai was so focused on this Futsu game. He was thinking about that stand roundhouse just like I was, and then the Jaguar <laughs> kick just came from nowhere. Now he's back dashing again. And so he's not thinking about the stand roundhouse. I don't think we're going to see another Jaguar kick to close this out, though. He does not want to give him that ultra, the swing. And that's really the only... Well, oh, there was. There. Again. You know what? He was thinking the exact same thing. And he set us both up. Yeah, smart play from Gamer B there. You wily Gamer B. You know, that's the, that's the mark of a top player. They know what, at that one moment where you're like, I'm going to uppercut it, I'm going to uppercut it. No, he's not going to do it. And then they do it right there.
That is the power of a strong, smart player. And Gamer be feeling himself here with some dizzy. early uppercuts and paying a terrible oh, price. Oh no. Gamer be saved himself from a dizzy. Nice combo from Xiaohai. Now he's going to go for an ambiguous dive kick. Great block from Gamer B. Ooh. And Xiaohai now with all this momentum. Look at him starting this rush down. Wow. Ow. So smart. He's, he says, get those Jagger kicks out of there with that stand jab. Cammy, one of the most fortunate characters to have three three frame light attacks. It's, uh, stand jab, one of them. Here it is. There. That one was clearly out of range. Just trying to keep close distance. Nice. Bro. Good pressure. Oh. Oh, nice. nice. Jump, but he drops the combo. And Xiaohai says, I'm not dropping mine. Here comes that cross up dive kick. Oh, he did drop his. But still solid damage and saves himself for the cost of some meter. Nice stand around house there from Gamer He's going back to that game. Dead even. And match point, you should say, for Xiaohai. Wow, just that jump back. Just barely avoided that Jaguar kick. Oh. They're representing focus, which is, uh, I don't know about that. But. Well, it'll ca it'll catch the air Jaguar kick. But that, you're right, and maybe that's all he wanted. He only did it once, so maybe that's all he's saying. Don't add the air Jaguar kick. Ooh. Oh, so is wow. Oh, ugly okay. collisions. Nice tech there from Chao Hai. Gamer B had represented uppercuts, oh, so oh, he missed enough. it! He missed it, he wanted to do an ultra! Ah, uh, and will that cost him here? Is he gonna let Cammy get back in the door? Ooh, oh, he challenges it out, completes the link! Xiao Hai had that, but you know, he thought Gamer B was gonna block that low jab, so he wasn't gonna hit confirm it. He wanted to get in for more frame traps. And it's gonna go down to the final round. Oh, wow! Jumping roundhouse is so good with Adon! And he read that throw all the way, gets a massive punish for it. Representing the roundhouse, controlling that space, owning it. Problem oh. is, Cammy doesn't have a lot of meters. He's been so good with that. Ooh. Wow, pulled him again. Missed that middle hit. Oh, Dizzy potential here if Gamer B gets his cross up. Oh, Dizzy. He doesn't oh, need the cross yet. ups. Wow. Great uppercut from Xiao Hai saying, I'm not scared. I'm going to keep coming at you. Oh, oh, did he get him? Did he get he him? He got it with the stick. I love it. Just like going through a fireball. The door is open. He's still got that EX. Enough for one more EX. Here we go. Caught him hitting buttons. Oh, wow. Oh. Gamer B looking a little desperate here. Both fighting for the match. Oh, for their life. The roundhouse hits once. And the oh, oh, he risked that is it all. He oh, risked it all. Oh. Why? Why would you risk it all oh. on a drill? Such an incredible run. And Gamer B won by just letting his opponent defeat himself. That was such a crazy read. I think after that ultra, was really feeling it. And wow. he went, I, I yeah. Oh, Again, in the so heat of the moment, the decision so making. Much. I know, they both played such incredible matches. But that's what it can be. On the heels of playing an incredible match, that pressure mounts on your shoulders. And one way or another, you just want it over. Yeah, and you see Chris Hu going up there, comforting Xiao Hai. Chris Hu had been hanging around Xiao Hai and Dako the whole weekend laying out the uh, American red carpet. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Gamer B not laying out the red carpet uh, and sending it home. That is a tough beat, and that is just a, uh, you know, again, these decisions, it's hard to understand the pressure of playing uh, on yeah, a stage like that's this. that's the trick, that's the trick right there. Some of my worst matches ever have been on the Evo stage, oh, I must say, where yeah. you're just like, what was I doing? And I, I just have sort of like a blinding white light in my eyes, of not <laughs> literally, but just from my own mind of being like, oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's easy for us to sit here and say that, but how many random drills have we thrown out in our lives? And, and he, was, he had played such a great match, and just right down to the wire, and just all that pressure sitting on your shoulders is really, it's a lot to contend with. Yeah, I mean, the pressure, all these people, and, and like we said, because this game has become so international, it's more than just, I want to win this match and win EVO. It's now, I want to win this for my country. I want to, like, especially like after Gamer B went home, they all want that hero's welcome when they go home. Exactly, and obviously, as we, we noted, a little bit of tension between Taiwan and China. Right. So, uh, a lot on the line there. Who knows what was going through his head. I don't, I don't imagine it was a missed input, so at least that's some cold comfort. Uh, Again, once you said, we have PR Balrog, last U.S. representative, going up against Infiltration. Of course, Korea was the other country with two representatives, but Punko was eliminated right away. 
So now the two players in the grand fi and winner's finals are the two members who had two representatives from their country. They're the last hope for their countries. Carrying the banner. America versus Korea. We saw this earlier infiltration defeated PR Rog and Ricky Ortiz with his teammate Laugh in cross Tekken. And now PR Balrog giving infiltration a little taste of his own medicine. And that back teleport is going to be obviously so important in this match. It really can frustrate PR Balrog's pressure midstream. PR Rog. Good challenge. Oh, gosh. Oh, with the first frame track. Nice block. Good yeah. tech. PR Balrog again. Very, very solid. Great defense. Ooh. Wow. Infiltration has made so much money off of that focus forward dash. Oh, trying to chase him down with that jump fierce. Didn't quite get it. And Pierre, I love that from Infiltration, smelling that PR Balrog was just a little bit off with his buttons there and seizing that opportunity with the throw. He's got just that nice bloodthirsty edge. Wow, cool stuff. Oh, oh great anti-air. You know, he saw the neutral jump, didn't flinch, and just said, you know what, I'm not scared. I'm just going to hit you with this low fierce anyway. I want to see a little bit more activity here from PR Balrog. He's acting like he's got the lead. Well, he's trying to charge that headbutt. He knows that EX headbutt might be one of his only hopes, and this is probably not going to. Yeah. No. That's the infiltration. Not a bad play, but infiltration obviously on top of that counter all the way. Yeah, he knew that was his only hope. He had that low strong all ready to go. PR Balrog hunkering oh. down. I like that. Oh, a little bit out of range. Gets him towards the corner, though. This is a good position advantage. But look at PR Rock Just walking backing off. backwards. He's scared. He's giving infiltration so much respect. And then he drops that link, which again is a PR Balrog uh, staple. Yeah, stand jab low roundhouse, such a crucial link for PR Rock at the highest level. Great tech. PR Rock has him back in the corner again. Letting Akuma sweep go unchallenged. Infiltration, never afraid to go in for the throw, just as I was saying it. Yes, this guy just wants to scare you. Ooh, hit him with a focus attack. Unusual. Oh, great sweep counter. Wow, Infiltration, he's, he's establishing a throw game. And you know he's going to take advantage of that in the next game. I think PR Rock tried to hit him out of the air with that EX Rush Punch. Maybe hoping to catch him and juggle with the Ultra afterwards. Infiltration has to be careful. With See again. again. Yes, and he's paying a big price for it because infiltration's all over it. Now a lot of pressure in the corner. Thinking throw. Wow. Oh, he went for armored low. Oh, so, he wanted the up. Yes. He saw it. Yeah. You see him. You see him in the camera, holding up. Is that? Yeah. The low sweep way too far. Infiltration game one. And he is really feeling himself. You see him strut off the, off the stage after just dominating Daigo. He had a literal spring in his step. Nice focus. Nice. Chasing Good him down there. with that jab rush. And there's that anti-air stand fierce for Akuma. Such a powerful move that a lot of people don't know about. Forget Akuma. about it. Everyone oh, loves Goku. Oh, you can combo Goku. off of that. You can always combo off of a counter hit, turnaround punch. Oh, no. The anti-air caught there. Going back to the throw, wow, as we said. Oh. He was fishing for it. I love that. You see him just walk forward, bulldog his way there, and get jumped twice in a row now. And PR Balrog is letting it go. Yeah, and he got scared off a little bit earlier. Oh, that is not worked out for him at all. Oh, did he catch him? Wow, he blasted and blocked in time. That was crazy. And that is the power of that demon flip. I feel like he thought he really had it. The demon flip just landed safely. Yeah, that punch option has no delay when it lands. It's so good at safe jumping. And there you saw it. PR Rog with that great reaction, but it didn't pay off for him. PR Balrog dueling for winner's bracket, and American Pride gets the crumble. He goes for the reset. Switching up the position a little bit. Doesn't even challenge it out of the air. He's afraid of it now. There we go. He's not going to use it yet. No, oh, we got him. I think he got him. That's why he didn't use it. He's saving it. Last one might miss. No, that's last the one scary might part. Miss. Wow. Oh, what damage. And that is going to be it. That's going to be it right there. And Infiltration looking so incredibly strong. PR Balrog representing the American Trunks. Uh, the outfit with Balrog, but not able to hold it down there. Smart from Infiltration. He knew it as well that that last hit might have missed. So he just said, you know what, I'm going to go for the Ultra. And here's something I must say. I didn't see all of Infiltration's matches. This guy is a changed player. Yeah. He is playing on another level. I mean, we've seen him in top eights before. He is, he is the real deal. He yeah. is a quality guy. But I do feel like when he's run into the top eight competitors before, 
I've seen some classes where I say he's just outclassed. Yep. Like he has some parlor tricks, he has bloodthirst, he goes in for it, but frankly, I didn't feel he was at the level of some of the competitors up before. No disrespect. Uh, I actually had the chance that those guys crashed at my house uh, at NCR and <laughs> had a chance to talk to them. Really great guys, uh, but I didn't feel he was really at that truly world-class level. Obviously, getting top eight is incredible stuff, but I felt like there was a level beyond where he was. I think he's now achieved that level. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Korea now is poised to take three games here at Evolution 2012. That means Korea, I mean, obviously, we know they're the best StarCraft players in the world, but now they're saying, you know what? We're coming in fighting game territory. We're taking this one, too. All hail our new Korean overlords. <laughs> Just when, just when we finally overcome Japan, Korea has been developing all this secret tech, yeah. <laughs> beating up the Americans. But obviously, we had not heard the last of PR Balrog. We were uh, going after the wrong Asians. <laughs> yeah. The American hopes are resting on his shoulders. Gamer B. Now, I so want to point out another thing, too. We have lost, this is the first year out of all of Street Fighter four years that Japan has not gotten in the grand has not gotten in the grand finals or won the tournament. Next if PR Rock loses this, this, this will also be the first year that an American was not in the grand finals. We had Justin, we had Ricky, and then Latif. Three years running. This is incredible, and obviously the Americans have a numerical advantage with such a big field. But the talent level from these foreign countries, I mean they're only sending their best over here. No jokes. And Gamer B has looked super incredibly solid this entire final eight. Just getting that chip damage. Nice frame traps, but good blocking from really PR Really great Rob. series, yeah. He, he said, I'm not going to touch any buttons. I'm just going to stay here very, very patient. He's trying to maintain a little bit more distance, choosing his shots here. Not terribly concerned about the Jaguar kick. Oh, he tried oh. to challenge and got blown up. Oh, nice there we stuff go. there. I don't know if he had enough time to charge into an ultra there. Probably not. Oh, good. Oh, no. Too yeah, fast. It's hitting fast. too early. Too yeah. yeah. Nice tech again. He's making the... He's, oh, oh, no. No. Why would no, you do that? No. No. He made a crazy read. That is just like that shell high drill. It was. Well, I mean, it was... It was a good idea, and he saw him do it, but his reaction was just a little too slow. He was looking for it. He was queued up to look for it, and then when he saw the trigger, he went for it. But way off. Great idea. But did not pick the right shot. Oh, wow. And again. She probably went for the ru upper rush again. Yeah, I, that's a little disconcerting to see him missing things like that if indeed he did. All right. He's got him in the corner. He's got Gamer B in the corner. Very Gamer, nice. He's got to find a way out. He's just going to do He's a wake up uppercut. Yeah. Yep. Great cross up. Oh, and instant oh, EX no. Jaguar kick. Facing the wrong way. Wow, I thought, is he really get away with that? Great reactions from Gamer B. Oh, we went for the frame trap. Pierre Rock not ready for the throw there. Ooh. Nice, nice. Generates a pressure. Actually, for this, for how much control that Adon's had over this match, I can't believe Pierre Balrog is still in this. He, he needs that one hit into Ultra. And I don't like him banking his whole tournament life on that. Obviously, he has a little bit of time here. A little bit of space, hunkering down, again, looking very confident. But he can't afford a challenge. Nice sweep. And again, he's just sitting. Oh, oh, he made his read. And that neutral jump roundhouse. It's too fast. It's too fast to punish with the tactics he's trying. He yeah. went for the focus breaker up high, like and it got just clean beat by that neutral jump. It's so fast, and that roundhouse is so juicy for Adon. Yeah, like I said. Wow. We was that an intentional low short anti-air, or was that a missed uppercut? Sure. Some new tech, maybe he's gonna go for a reset off that low short. The world will never know. Some chance from the crowd, PR Balrog. And again, Gamer B has been so on point with those uppercuts. Anti air. Oh wow, got him. Oh, no. but that link again. That's one that you almost never see PR Balrog miss. A nice jab rush there to counter the Jaguar kick. And he's got. Adon in the corner. He's got Gamer B in the corner. Nice stand roundhouse from Gamer B. Oh, oh no, that that let him out. Yeah, great sweep. Oh, beautiful sweep and another beautiful stand roundhouse. Gamer B content just to play the game. And again, just shutting him down, saying you want to play on the ground, you got to play on the ground. You don't get to just jump at me. He doesn't let him jump once. See that Gamer B with his head looking straight down. He feels it right now. He feels his moment coming. And PR Balrog shaking his head, disappointed in himself. 
And again, he's got to burn meter to avoid that cross-up every time. Gamer be making a splash, like I said, at 2010 again. He tried to anti-air it, and it's just too fast. Just too fast. Good stuff. Okay, so Gamer B this time not doing oh. the quick rise. And PR Rod with a full stock now. Nice size grab. Wow. Great stuff. He doesn't, doesn't want to use it. Doesn't that was smart. It. That was smart. Let's hope it doesn't. He is still fighting for his tournament life here. Though. Great low Good fierce stuff. by PR Rod. And great presence of mind to not burn that. So easy to burn that meter in that situation because you just want to stay alive. And he's playing for the distance here. He needs to bring this game back. It is still match point, Gamer B. Just walking up, just from a little bit surprising distance. Valorant's foot speed so good. Nice with the shuffle. Oh, wow. Again, Two dashes this, into a throw. This is the PR Balrog I've been waiting to see. Nice. Oh, he misses oh, that again. Combo. But a good challenge. Oh, Ooh. there he missed the whip punish there. We saw Shaohai so good at punishing that. PR Rock not doing the same. Caught him looking. Oh, no. Here we go. He's going to get the light. He's going to tie the light or even get a slight lead in this situation. Uh, PR Balrog was still a slight light oh. lead. Oh, again, again dropping drop. that combo. Uh, oh, and then Gamer be dropping missed there. A, missed the opportunity to complete yeah. that. Air Jaguar kick link into oh, a low sweep. Two dangerous moves for both competitors, maybe showing a little bit of nerve. But PR Balrog is fighting for his life here. No! And that jump that neutral roundhouse! Is it? And the American dream at Evolution 2012 has ended. And for the first time in three years, we will not have a Japanese player nor an American player in grand finals. This is a new day. This Grand is a new day in Street Fighter. Will be between a Korean and a Taiwanese player. Uh, and I gotta say, these may be the two best guys in the tournament. These guys have put on the best show we've seen in this entire tournament. Yeah, we said it right when the top eight started. Gamer B looks so solid, so strong. He looks, he looks refreshed. He looks healthy. He looks energized. He looks focused. And Infiltration is feeling himself uh, not only from blowing up Daigo, but he just knows he's playing great. Yeah. He's got the cross Tekken win under his belt, but he is just playing great. He's making all the right choices, and it really feeds into his strength, which has a little bit more evilness than Gamer B, uh, for sure. And uh, But obviously, we saw it pay off big time with a couple of crazy raging demons uh, that he really, frankly, earned. So I feel like both of these guys are playing at very near capacity. Obviously, Gamer B will be battling out of the loser's bracket. Yeah, infiltration has just steamrolled over everyone pretty much all tournament long in every game that he's played. Now, do you think there's any chance we'll see him move back to Goken here? Against Adon? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I don't sense any particular advantage for Goken over Adon. I don't like the match. It's weird. Uh, I do believe Adon is one of the characters that has to block both hits of that standing roundhouse. Whoa. Which yeah, wait. Yeah, don't, right, don't get me started on a hitbox. Yeah, I know. Of evil why? 2012. Get on your feet and let's show the world why the fighting game community has the best crowd in the business. Tragic. Been uh, such an epic hype man all weekend. Getting the crowd on their feet for a final cheer for both of these competitors. Everything that Tragic has been saying is absolutely correct. There is no scene out there that is more wonderful, more talented, more intelligent, more amazing. You're the best, man. Honestly, uh, quickly on a personal note, the outpouring of support, you know, I've left Capcom, but I would never leave this community. I'd, it would be, leaving this community would be like asking me to leave my own family. And uh, the feeling in this room and the support shown to me by everybody has been nothing short of phenomenal. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you, James. And let's do some Street Fighter IV, <laughs> Kate Edition, 2012 Finals, Evolution 2012. All right, and starting off, Gamer B, playing that zoning game, and he went with Ultra 1. He likes that Ultra 1 to punish air fireball. And that is going to be critical. Let's see if Infiltration needs to respect that. Oh, what oh, a frame trap, but nothing afterwards. Didn't collect. Infiltration looking a little more restrained here, but oh. now going in. Gamer B just eats it, maybe missing the uppercut. Good challenge, though. I think that would have been a safe jump anyway, so I don't think Gamer B should have even tried that uppercut. So that's, yeah, I don't know what he was going Ooh, for. Ooh, what a reaction from Infiltration. And he still looks absolutely... Oh, no. Absolutely on point. Infiltration is just running a train over everybody. Crashing through, you know, crates and blocks and just plowing right through everything. Oh, and it was a nice try from Gamer B, but not finding Tater. Got him in the corner. Gamer B has to win two sets of three out of five. 
to stay, to, to take the championship. Infiltration only needs to win one. Nice cross up. Pushes it back in the corner, goes right from the throw, just goes to the moneymaker. It doesn't have to be clever. And again, Aidan with these good challenges, but not enough. Great I like throw. it. Wow, Reddit. Oh no! And that is wow. gonna be a mental card break for Gamerbee. Look at the sour look on his face. Infiltration! And Gamerbee has to be proud of the round that he played there. It looked like it was his, he was doing everything right, and Infiltration just looks super comfortable. It's it's like this got, is mine. You this got is your, my time. You got your favorite dessert and someone just came and took it from you when you weren't <laughs> looking. You were looking forward to eating that all day, and now you got nothing. All right, good stuff for Gamer B. He's had good starts on every round where Infiltration is to come back and, and, and take those rounds. Two in a row for him. Walking right back in there for the throw. Oh, nice uppercut there, very risky. It really is, Akuma Ooh, obviously. Here we go. The pull, that's the hard knock. Big damage, big punish. Ooh. Wow. Did he, he get him? him? He, he did. Him. Good stuff from Gamer B. Says, you must respect my Ultra One. And now he's taking a slight life leap. What mix up does he have here? Oh, oh he, he got him. The throw out with that neutral jump right us. I love the, that. One of the only neutral jump moves fast enough to hit a whip throw and still combo when he lands. And that was a chest pound from Gamer B. Walking up like, uh uh, <laughs> let's go. You want to throw? You want to throw? Oh, guess what? <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> love that. And that time, Gamer B took the round away from. Oh, did wow! That... Did he? I think he caught it was too fast. Yeah, he is minus one or minus two after that Jaguar kick, it Raging did, Demon instant. Did, did burn a massive amount of meter on it. Uh, got some good follow up so obviously very strong position now. And right. I mean, it's kind of tough. He, he, that's a card that you would think Infiltration would want to save for a more key moment. This well, is... I'm sure Gamer B is aware of it, but uh, yeah, certainly it worked out for him that time with the round. And if he can. If he can deny Gamer B right here, he's just in an incredibly strong position. You can hear the crowd murmuring right now. Goes for the frame trap of Spears. All right, he's got him in the corner. Oh, no, that's no good. Oh, it's good. Wow. I... Infiltration making the Raging Demon look like the scariest weapon in the game. Wow, and just challenging the dash up. And what a cancel. smart focus cancel off of that fireball. If he hadn't done it, Gamer B would have landed and punished him. Infiltration. A new man. Great blocks from Infiltration, not falling for any of the bits. Oh, he, that was an ultra attempt. He did not get it out, and that's going to be it. He just it looks so comfortable. Yeah. That's what's so scary. He looks completely comfortable. Everything, every sequence is going exactly his way. He's letting Gamer B feed right into his hands. And now Gamer B looking sort of visibly shaken in a way we've not seen before. Infiltration helping himself to a little water. Look at him. He looks like he's at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. You see, he has that slight smile on his face. Infiltration can smell it. He With has... the evilest Akuma costume, too. He feels like he's right there. He can, he can see the championship. It's right within his grasp. And now Gamer B playing with some very questionable choices. Trying to represent with those uppercuts, but not making it pay off. And infiltration just so in control. Oh, it just eats it. Eats it right on the nose. Oh, what a great overhead there. What the? Walk up over uppercut, just taking it. And that is the stamp. Is that the end of Gamer B right there? Championship point for infiltration. Can he take it straight set? Will Korea for get the hat trick here at Evolution 2012. Good pressure from Gamer B so far. Oh, Ooh. wow. Missed opportunity, wanted too much. Great reaction there. And again, forced Brock both hits, at, even at a relatively far distance. And that's not something we've really seen from Infiltration, but now he's playing, playing this card. He wants it. He says, I'm taking this home to Korea. Gamer B has something to say about that. Wow, cool. Wow. And this might be the smart thing for Gamer B to do. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, he no. got it again. Infiltration almost with a Raging Demon button. It's such a momentum killer every time he oh, does no. it. Oh, no. And this could this be it. Down to his last pixel. And ah. that's it. Infiltration has won.
Evolution 2012 Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. All hail the Korean overlords and infiltration. Uh, getting a little emotional, and certainly he's deserved it. He's put in the work. What an incredible set. And there he's up there with his good friend and traveling companion. And the rest of his teammates as well. Ryan Hart, the Western Wolves, Mad Cats, raising him to their shoulders. Big smiles. Hands clasped in victory. Well deserved. An incredible finals. An incredible finals. And as we've seen, uh, Street Fighter beginning in Japan. Uh, today, on this year of its 25th anniversary, it is now the world's game. A dominating performance there. You see Weirdo Neo hailing for Korea. You remember last year when Punko won, he was waving the Korean flag. He was going nuts. Yeah, yes. and I watched him also during the KOF finals. He's one of the biggest boosters of the Korean scene. He's literally him. weeping on stage. Look how emotional Weirdo Neo is. An infiltration going to pick up his joystick, but he is... Oh, he's going straight for the... He wants, oh, he he wants, wants the, the medal. He has dominated so well this top eight. He... Like I said, that was that Korean train. I mean, uh, apologies to John Choi, but I think he's the new Korean Inferno uh -oh. in the house. Because he just burned everybody Ladies that he went up against. The top he eight. looked so strong. The and just four. just owned it seven. the whole way through. And he played, four. what I love about him, the blossoming of Infiltration, is he blossomed into truly a more Shin version of his own style. <laughs> he's kept all of his trademarks but managed to capitalize in the biggest possible way on all of them. Yep, Shin Infiltration. Yes. Awesome. We may have to start uh, calling him by a different nickname now. Punko, we didn't get the best of him in the finals here. Also, Dominion looking a little bit in low gear relatively, but still incredible performances from both guys. Obviously, Punko going deep uh, in both Evolution 2012 in and 2011. Place. Dominion, oh. incredible guy, and with nothing, nowhere to go but up. Just a super bright Absolutely. future coming for this guy. Representing, of course, Australia and Hong Kong. We have Human Bomb. Uh, also, a great place. story here the this year at Evo. Daigo. Nobody saw him coming. And of course, Daigo Umahara, true class act. One of the. You can't ask for a better representative of the fighting game community than Daigo Umahara. He really carries it on his shoulders, and I can tell you from personal experience, he feels it very, very deeply. He's deeply, deeply concerned about the community. Uh, it's something we talk about, and I've. Could not be more impressed with his spirit as a competitor. And there's Xiao Hai, of course, really from place. China. Amazing play. And he still looks a little oh. sore about that final. <laughs> he was like, I could have been up a little higher than this. I should have been the winner. Pierre Balrog knows the grit went deep and I, played a great game. I love the way Pierre, I mean, you know what? Very few players in the community play. have a better Represent smile than we are about. No, that is what we call a winning smile. Yeah, he is, it's so infectious. Even in defeat with the winning smile. And one quick note, uh, I've heard some people say, you know, I, I, he understands he represents Puerto Rico and he is uh, a Puerto Rican loyalist, but he's also an American citizen. I don't want to hear anybody yeah. saying he's not an American citizen or that he doesn't count uh, as a great American as well. He is, uh, you know, this country is made great by uh, immigrants and he's proud yeah. addition as well as representing his roots. And of course, Gamer be in second place. I'm sure he's going to go home to another welcome. Uh, and he just keeps climbing. Yeah. This is a guy who just keeps getting more and more strong, but unfortunately ran into the man right. of the hour, the man of the year. And don't forget, Infiltration finished third place two years ago. So he's just climbing. He's, he's reached just... the pinnacle. And honestly, uh, I think we're, we're seeing these competitors stack up in about the order they deserve to be in terms of what we saw here in the finals. Nobody snuck away with anything. These were just incredible matches. Uh, Pumpo, I, I was hoping to see a little bit more fireworks from him. Uh, maybe a little too respectful of Cami in his appearance, but uh, his Korean countryman infiltration, taking it home, kissing it. These guys, you know, I. Honestly, these guys have been around the scene for a long time. Uh, Infiltration doesn't speak English, but uh, when they were able to stay with me, I was really happy to get a chance to talk to those guys. They're really just awesome guys. Oh, yeah. And I love to see an awesome guy win. When you watch people win championships, you know, NBA tennis, you see how emotional they get and they, the tears come guys, you know this is the in. same thing right they here they have worked so hard you know yet. for a huge portion a, of their lives just to get to this point which was a new and, flavor you this know year. seeing filipino uh, champ break down and seeing the 
you know, K uh, Mad KOF being really swarmed by his so teammates and now seeing Infiltration home, kiss that trophy, friends. you know. And let's make uh, Evo 2013 this, uh, Look at, look at Infiltration, he's slapping Thank himself. He's trying Tonight. to, he's like, this is, Go make sure this together. is not a dream. This is not a dream, I have won this. My God. Uh, it, well, you know, shout outs to the Western Wolves and Mad Cats, again, doing just incredible things for this community. Uh, thank you to everybody. Again, just for me personally, it's really been my privilege to serve, and I hope to be a part of things in the future. Oh, yeah. Oh, you will. You know what? I've said this to a few people this year. I've said, you know, I've tried to leave this fighting game community, and I have failed every single time because I just keep getting sucked back into this. It, you can't escape. You can't escape. The guys are too good. Uh, again, another evolution, another incredible year. Uh, nothing to do but look forward to Evolution 2013. Nowhere to go but up. Bigger, better. I don't know what to say. James Chen? Yep. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope everybody out at home enjoyed this as much as we did. It's been a blast. and uh, It's been an honor. Yes. Honestly. And, uh, yeah. And su support your local <laughs> tournaments and the Ski Sonic strut. I think we'll take us out. All right. Thank you, everybody.